Okay, today we're going to have a look at one online tool that we can use to help us to take notes from informational websites. And the website that we're going to use, or the online tool, is called Bubble Us, and it's for brainstorming or creating mind maps. And we're going to take some notes on some animals. We've got a couple of websites that I found that give us some information about pandas, and we're going to collect some notes about pandas from both of those websites and put them together onto our mind map on Bubble Us so that we can later write an informational report that is in our own words so that we avoid plagiarising or copying and pasting from online websites into our own work. So having a look at this website I can see that the first bit of information that I would like to write is that giant pandas are black and white Chinese bears. So if I go back to my Bubble Us page, I don't need to have an account with Bubble Us, so I don't need to worry about anything that's written over here that asks me to sign in. I can just click on the Start Brainstorming, and that will give me the sheet to start with. So in the center bubble, I'm going to write my topic, and my topic is pandas and then when I click on the little bubble at the bottom it allows me to add a child bubble and that's for my first little bit of information and that was that they are black and white Chinese bears so that's my first little bit of information now I need to go back to uh, my website and see if I can find another piece of information about them or some key words about pandas so it says here that they're on the verge of extinction. That means that they're nearly extinct. So if I go back to Bubble Us, I can again go to my panda bubble in the middle, click Add a New Child Bubble, drag that one over here, and I'm going to write they're nearly extinct. So now I've got two facts. I might try my other website that I've chosen, and it tells me that Giant pandas are found in bamboo forests in southwestern China. So I'll go back to my Bubble Us again, create another child bubble. Might drag this one over here, and I'm going to write found in bamboo forests in southwestern China. So there's my Next bubble, I'll go back to that other website and I might click to the next page and see what it tells me. It says that there's only a thousand left in the wild. So I can write that down, that might be important. Click on the child bubble. Only one thousand left in the wild. I probably need to have a look at my information now and see what I need information about. I don't have anything that tells me what they eat. So I might go back and see if I can find some information about that. And on this website it says pandas eat almost nothing but bamboo shoots and leaves. So I'll have a look. Make another bubble on my Bubble Us page. Drag that into a new space and write they mostly eat bamboo shoots and leaves. And I need to make sure that I've written that correctly. And I can drag this bubble to wherever I want. I can also colour code the bubbles if I want to. So if I click over the bubble or wave over the bubble, I get this little menu at the top that allows me to change the colour of the background if I want to, so I could colour code some of the information that I have if I want to on my bubble us. So I might go back to my first one and see if there's a bit of information that I would like to put in. Well, it says that they grow to be about 250 pounds or 115 kilos. Wow, that's a lot. I think that's an important bit of information. So I'll go back here, create another bubble, and I might just check that fact because I think I might have forgotten it. 115 kilos. So an adult can weigh around 115 
kilograms. So that's a lot. Let's keep having a look. And they're about, they grow to be about three feet or a metre. Another bubble. Grow to about one metre. All right, when I feel that I have got enough information and I have finished uh, my uh, bubble us, all I need to do is export that. Because we don't have an account or we haven't used any of these sign-in features, we can't save our work. So we need to export that straight away. If we click away, we'll lose it. So if we go to the export button, it will allow me to export as an image file. And that image file I can later upload to my Ultranet space or wherever I would like that to be. So I'm going to leave it on JPEG and click on export. And that will allow me to save that to my um, computer. So I'll just click on save. And then when I go and click on it in my computer, I'll see that I have an image file that contains all of the information that I found. Here's my image file here. So I have an image file of all that information that I found about pandas and now I can use that information later to write an informational report on in my own words.